This is Chef Maka Khan from KTA Kitchens, and today we're going to do a grilled mahi with some grilled cherry tomatoes and a lemon basil vinaigrette. First off, we got to get our ingredients, which I have right here. We got some mahi mahi, we got some fresh basil, a little Dijon mustard, some minced garlic, some minced shallots, some honey. I have this one, if you guys noticed, but it's actually lemon juice and the lemon zest. And of course, our tomatoes, salt, pepper, and olive oil. I have a grill pan on the stove warming up right now. And if you don't have a grill, you can use an outside grill. If you don't have that, you can use an oven. Just warm up your oven to 400 degrees and put your items on a baking sheet. But we have a grill, so it's good today. So a little bit of uh, salt and pepper, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing for my tomatoes, but I'm gonna toss it with a little bit of olive oil. So it coats all my tomatoes. And we're gonna grill this up also, which is gonna be super fun. And we're gonna grill them just until they burst. I got this veggie spray, you can use Pam, you can use a paintbrush, just spray it in your pan, okay? And let's grill the fish. Guys, we're almost there about two, three minutes into it, but if you wanna tell, you look halfway through, you can see your fish is halfway cooked. And if you can't do that, cheat a little bit, yeah? Take a look at that. All right, let's flip it. Okay guys, our, our fish is done. Our pan is still hot. We got all these drippings in there. Take a look at it. all this good stuff. We want that stuff. Let's get our tomatoes in there. And I like to grill my tomatoes just until they burst. Okay, guys, look at our tomatoes. They're already bursted. Shake it in the pan a little bit. You know, you can kill them if you cook them to death. Why do I cook them to death? I just want to let them burst, you know? Tomato, the sugar reactivating, activating with the heat. I'm going to pour it on top of my fish. All right. Now let's bring it back here. Let's do our vinaigrette. Look at that, nice. Let's make our vinaigrette. You're gonna need a bowl. Like I said earlier, I already have some lime, uh, lemon juice and the zest inside my bowl. Now let's mix all of our ingredients together, okay? Honey, about a tablespoon, give or take a little bit more or less. And if it's too so uh, sour, add more honey. Some Dijon mustard for a little heat. I got some minced garlic, some minced shallots. Okay, yeah. and then let's have some salt and pepper because everything tastes better when you season it, okay? And I got some extra virgin olive oil that I'm gonna blend into it. Now, if you want, you can put it in a mason jar, put everything here, and just shake it up, and then when you're not ready to use it, just put it in your refrigerator and bring it out when you're ready to use. slowly and if it breaks it's okay if the oil separates from it it's fine Fun with it. okay now let me give a little taste to it taste it a little more salt and then this fresh basil I have here and you can, you know, if you don't want to use basil, use anything you want. Italian parsley, oregano, but I like basil. Okay, basil, fold it in there. And this is gonna make everything taste super fresh. Guys, look at our, look at our dish we made together. Grilled mahi mahi. Some cherry tomatoes, lemon basil vinegar. Let's, let's taste this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, yummy. That is delicious. That is onolicious. That is like refreshing. You know what goes good with something refreshing? A nice glass of white wine. Chardonnay, Riesling, maybe a Sauvignon Blanc. Keep it light, keep it simple. 
If you want this recipe, go to ktasuperstores.com slash recipes. This is Chef Makakwan signing out. Good mai mai.